Ghostman Strange as SRO one sighting was an extraterrestrial sighting that took place on the afternoon of October twenty fifth, nineteen seventy four. The witness was a forty one year old oil well driller, husband and father for Carl Hintendon. He described to take decided to take the day off to hunt elk, northern region of medicine bow. National Park, which is located just 40 miles south of his home in Rawlings. Upon entering a group of elk, Higdon suddenly raised his heavy rifle, put his eye to the sight and took aim at the largest male. As soon as Higdon pulled the trigger, his magnum, his magnum he was standing by the fact there was no kickback for the rifle. What was even more perplexing was the fact that detonation was absolutely silent. Higdon claimed he was actually able to watch as a bullet left the barrel of his rifle, soared forward so slowly it looked as if it were travelling through a wall of invisible jello. A bizarre alien then slowly approached the terrified Higdon and asked him, How are you doing? The hunter admitted he was trying to stay calm. He weakly responded, Pretty good. It ups- it obscenable extraterrestrial required whether Higdon no, not Higdon was hungry. Before he could respond, the creature sent a small clear cellophane package floating towards him that contained four pills. The strange drawness humanoid Owen introduced himself as also one as when Higdon gaze caught the strange box like object catching the sun's rays in the clearing behind strange creature. Intrigued by the awe of which Higdon was staring at his ship, at the sh- its ship, the alien asked the hunter, "Do you want to come along?" The Higdon snugged his shoulder in uh, in scent. He was at this point in the time appeared to leap forward. A Higdon next view collection was going, being inside a cube-like craft. Higdon. Later he called, being given a tour of Ozo One's home planet. Appearance: the six-foot entity appeared to be humanoid, being clad in a skin-tight black one-piece outfit. Higton claimed he was similar to wet suit scuba drivers wear. Atop the suit was a pair of harnesses, like straps. A crisscrossed its chest, below which was a metallic belt adorned with a large yellow six pointed star. Beneath the star was a signal that the Oxwoodman could not identify. The sig- that the outdoorsman could not identify. The sound f- f- was not detectable, had no detectable ears, his eyes are small and lacked eyebrows. The dome of his skull was covered with incredibly coarse hair. Almost with his straw, a straw growing out of his head. The creature possessed a lipless, like, slit like mouth, concealed three exceptional large teeth on top of the draw bottom, a pair of antennas, and most alarming to Higdon, a face that blended directly into his neck. The creature's portly, a pointy, almost drill, bit like appendage, sticking out of its wrist, where its right hand ought to have been nothing. At all on the left. Due to the nature of the sighting, it c- could be considered a hoax, though there is no evidence to support it. Heaton later swore that he watched the bullet guide f- f- about fifty feet before it plummeted the snow speckled ground before him. Heaton cautiously retrieved the bullet and inspected it closely. He immediately noticed the lead position portion of the what no, seven more mm. It disappeared, and only oddly missed. Only the odd misshapen case remained.